thing with this one. There's only one way that you can get into this and make it seem true, and that's with a belief in evolution. You have to have a belief in evolution to make that true in your brain, okay? Because otherwise, any time there's conjecture that can disprove it, because we're talking about something that can't be proven physically, it's only conjecture, okay? So, this creates a whole science that's full of, you know, about 9% truth, okay? So, that means that the concept of falsification has to be looked at. And the concept of falsification <clears throat> is not even a true premise. Because in order for a premise to, ha premise to have some validity, you have to be able to make it work in some, some way, shape, or form. You have to be able to make this function, okay? You can't falsify religion. You can't falsify a science. You can't falsify anything. So the premise that you can falsify something is completely false. Unless it's one small little minuscule thing that you came up with that this is our new science we're going to come up with and everything you try with that new science turns out to be false so it's not true. But when you have a huge convoluted thing and it's got three things in it that's true and a whole bunch of things in it that's not true, you can't falsify it, okay? Something that's held up by the truth with sideways logic has partial truth in it. So you can't, so what that means is that they say you can't falsify any of it because there's 9% of it that might be true. So the principle of falsification is false. You cannot falsify something that can't be proven false. So they say, well, falsify this, uh, this belief system of evolution, okay? So what you have is you got three things that we believe are true, but may, you know, they may not be true completely. But I'm going to give them the gray area and say they're true. And we've got this big basket down here with all this other stuff in there that they threw in, the fossil record and all the ERBs and all the mutations and all the things that they perceive as changing creatures and so on and so forth that can't be proven. All of those are held up by a pretty slim little thing here at the top, okay? So when you have something that's completely not proven down here, and you're holding up with 9% that might possibly be true, basically the whole science is now not proven. Not proven. And as long as you keep filling this basket up full of things that can't be proven, these three things are going to be weighted down until the ends of the universe trying to hold this up because this has nothing to do with this. These three things have nothing to do with anything else in this system and they cannot be used by sideways logic in any way, shape, or form to prove that man evolved from some mystical ape common ancestor that's, that, that somebody came up with. They can't prove anything with this because only, only this small, small percentage of it's true trying to hold us up. So the process of falsification can't be used on a science that has multiple premises in it and most of the premises are false but three of them are true. So the principle of falsification is false. And it's one of the only things left in science that's actually false. Because not only is it not proven, it's a false premise. It's not true. It's 100% false. Falsification cannot be used in science as complex. So it's actually a false, false premise to begin with. 9% holds up the 91% that's false or can't be proven ever. So they're using 9% to hold up something that can't be proven. So the principle of falsification of an entire science of evolution, if you want to call it science, you cannot use this principle in this science, even though only part of it's true. And the problem with this whole thing of having part of it true and the rest of it not provable by any way, shape, or form 
is that it keeps giving it life. It keeps coming back. It keeps staying around. I can't understand why you don't drop all this other crap and only use what's actually proven right in front of your eyes and use that in your science in a way that's, pro that's productive. Because this other stuff here is going to stop any productivity with this completely because you're thinking all this other garbage is, might be true. So falsification is a false premise when you have a complicated system of a science that has a bunch of premises in there that are not proven, completely not proven. If you have one premise that's not proven, the whole science is not proven. Period. So the idea of falsification is 100% false. It's the only thing in science I've found so far that's 100% false. 